The Raven's Block presents The Black Files, an uncensored interview and review podcast for all geek fandom. Welcome everybody, friends and pals, guys and gals, boys and girls around the world, pop a squad, pop open a cold one with your boys, with your girls, with your trans peoples, with your non-peoples, with your pets, with your animals, with anybody, as long as you're drinking something that won't kill you, because we better leave that job to us in your ears, because we are about to invade your mind with a brand new episode of... The Black Files. Excellent. <laughs> yes. I'm yes. happy to be back here. I'm happy to be, be be back on The Black Files talking and stuff. Honestly, guys, I don't know about you two, but I am feeling very, very gravy. I'm, I'm, I'm in a very good mood. I'm feeling Me cold too. as balls. The that's cold. exactly why he's in a <laughs> good mood. That's one of the reasons why I'm in a good mood. I, I'm digging this w- a cold weather. For those of you who haven't actually been following us or know anything about us, we reside on the nice sunny location known as Florida, aka the armpit of the United States. <coughs> actually, AKA we prefer the to call sack of the United States. Actually, we prefer to call it America's Wang. Hello? Exactly. We live in the giant turgid being ridden Wang of the United States. Oh no! I dropped my monster condom for my Florida dong. All uh, right, come on, guys. Let's regardless. not be dicks about the Sunshine State. All right, well, uh, so as you know, the winters, the harsh Floridian winters have arise, bringing with them stiff breeze, painful humidity, and the highest tints of frost on our windshields. Actually, there's almost no humidity. That's the best part. I know. Truly, we live a sad, cruel life. No, there, there is okay, humidity. There is whatever. humidity. So as expected, we are here once more to speak about nurse shit in the land <coughs> of the communities of the internets, a world where nuances cease to exist and drugs run rampant. Give us your likes. You might as well give us something because you have nothing else to give. No, for real, please, when, whenever you're listening into this on YouTube, give us likes, give us thumbs up, subscribe to us, Especially- share this with your friends, share this with everyone. Listen to us on SoundCloud, on iTunes, and Stitcher. Listen to this podcast. View this podcast. Download this podcast. Rip off this podcast. I don't give a shit. I'm not making any money for this, so you might as well take it for free. On it's, our we knees, don't care. we beg for relevance it's in extreme- a world that leaves us behind. It's extremely important now, considering YouTube likes to change around their rules and change around their algorithms and everything. Careful now. This video might get banned for hateful comments or some shit. Oh, no. no we, we, okay. Don't be silly, YouTube. Oh, we hey, hated YouTube. you for some time now. Oh, hey, YouTube. Here we're going to mention something that you really don't like according to our, our readouts joker no! oh well see now we're just getting that. buried now oh no now we're gonna get banned in germany again oh no <laughs> no motherfucker i was D- double I, banned in i germany. took it as a badge of pride that we did something that would ban us in germany and we still never understood why because was, the germans have no sense of humor apparently not yeah, apparently not all right folks welcome i can't to the, hate on germany welcome to the uncensored interview and review podcast of the ravens flock the black files this is juan arouse one of the heads of ravens flock i've got angel mendez yo and i've got jose casabota hello we're huh? gonna go ahead and discuss some uh, happenings in the world of nerds and news and stuff that happens and of course before we go any further this is an uncensored interview and review podcast that means that whatever we discuss we'll have spoilers very likely, whatever we say, we'll be swearing like motherfuckers because we don't give a shit. We don't appeal to children. We do not recommend that children listen to us because, quite frankly, this is not for mature. Uh, this is for mature audiences. And of course, we will say things that will be our own opi- opinions that may clash with your worldview. These opinions belong to us and no one else. We're not representing anybody except ourselves. So if this is too much for you to accept, if people ha- talking shit and having opinions that may differ with your own is too much for your piddly little piss brain to handle, tune out now. Go piss off. I don't give a damn. Go suck Nick Carter's dick. I don't care. But in the meantime, we uh, invite you to please open your minds, open your hearts to us, to the Raven's flock. Let us come into your minds. Now, Juan, I hate to interrupt you, but I have to ask this very important question. Yes. What? Who the hell is Nick Carter? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Backstreet's dead. Anyway. Disappear into the plans beyond. Now, speaking of things that are dead... Let's talk about something that actually came back to life really fucking quickly. Oh, God. Yes, please. Yes. yes. In the dark future, there is only fast. Many years ago, oh. by which I mean like a year ago, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie was announced to mixed review. <laughs> no, it, was, no, it, wasn't, it wasn't many years ago. It was just earlier this year. So earlier this year, the Sonic movie came out, and we had what can only be described as the uncanny valley in trailer form. Realistic human oh muscle goodness. legs. Oh realistic faceplate resembling a person. Realistic teeth. 
realistic so many eye. Teeth. Jesus Christ. It's like somebody took one of those horror. You know those horrible projects that they did on DeviantArt where they took like a character, like a cartoon. Noting and personnel his face to make it look as realistic as possible. Noting personnel, kid. What Noting. the fuck? Okay, so long story short. The, the, the fact that the only thing that everybody was talking about in that trailer was Jim Carrey and how he was basically going to have to carry the whole movie by himself. Pretty much, yeah. So well, I suspect... Immediately after. Nobody was expecting anything out of this movie. We were expecting, at best, an entertaining disaster or, at worst, a boring disaster. Oh, yeah. I was going to watch it regardless because I want to see how... F- Me too. How ridiculous it's going to be. But then we're allowed something to swear, Joe. miraculous happened. Uh, Something on Hiroto unknown in the movie industry. The director took a look at the media complaints and he listened. And they got the dude who made those funny Sonic cartoons. Who, by Sonic the way, Mania. By the way, he got his start doing a really fucking weird Sonic webcomic. You. Let me just say one thing Nipples the Echidna. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Go read the comic sometime. It's hilarious. What? No. Ew. It's what? It's hilarious. So Ew. yeah, that very same person who later got to work on uh, the Sonic cartoons and Sonic uh, Mania was brought in to do some work. And after a bit of switching around, a bit of adjusting, a bit of 3D modeling, we have now a new trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog. Gentlemen, what do you think of this new trailer? Oh my god, it's such a relief. The, the first meme that came out of it was uh, freaking... Uh, the in, in the fucking Godfather. What's his name? Um, <laughs> the Dawn. Yeah. The, Look yeah, how they, they unmassacred my, my boy. boy. Okay. Yeah. Like everyone has already seen this by now. The original trailer came out earlier this year, and they slated it for a November 2019 release with the four or six months of uh, work that they did in order to uh, redo the visual effects to remake Sonic. They pushed it back to a release of February 14th, 2020. This was all done because Paramount Pictures, for once, listened to the fans. Impossible. Like The, it, it, the amount of... Uh, worldwide online catharsis is ridiculous. People are actually breathing a sigh of relief saying this. They're like, wow, is, it, is this what it feels like to be listened to? This, this, this feels good. The it fact does. that a company actually gave enough of a crap to go, maybe, just maybe, like, the fa- I, I don't think you guys understand how big this is. Any other time people do wa- worldwide criticism over a movie, those people are usually shoved off and called haters and not real fans, even though the fact that they're criticizing it means that there are more fans than the people who are just going to swallow that dick. But I digress. The fact that a company took the time to look at the complaints, address them, and actually check into it in the era of movies where your movie either has to perform perfectly or basically fail miserably is genuinely something I never expected to happen. Oh, no. oh, Angel, no. I am fully well aware. Don't forget, I'm a hardcore Sonic fan myself. I mean, I personally enjoy Shadow the Hedgehog a little more than Sonic, but that's Dude, beside the point. if this movie goes well enough, you might get a Shadow the Hedgehog movie. But here's the thing. Now, to share my thoughts on this, okay, regardless of whether they remade Sonic or not, I'm still going to watch this movie. I'm still going to laugh at it because I'm expecting some funny shit to come out of this movie for what's, better or worse. What's actually... <laughs> pretty fun so far. What's actually... And despite... Despite the uh, new... Uh, the, the redesign of Sonic, which is awesome, in my opinion, you know that hasn't stopped the internet from making jokes. Of course it won't. More importantly, though... You got that Sonic! <laughs> it is a well-known fact that the Sonic fandom is one of the most autistic things in existence. If this movie does well enough... Can you imagine the fan art? Can you imagine the commissions? Can you imagine the fan fiction? Angel, everything that you're saying right now that's going to happen, I'm pretty sure it'll happen a lot sooner before the success because... Oh, no, it's, it's been the- happening already, but you know... I know, you know, I know. Okay, here's here's what I'm actually <laughs> relieved about here. What's that? Um, okay, you can go ahead and grab my Whoa, camera. Whoa, fuck! Whoop, here we go. <laughs> oh, there we go, sideways, that's what's up. So... The, the the bit that I actually like is the change in the way they actually design the trailers now. Because the original Whoa. trailer... Wow, that's classy, Jose. Thanks a fuck. That was the original trailer. Yeah, it was basically a burp out of Jose's dirty ass mouth. Also, no, gangsta, like, like, that being said, though, Gangsta's they, Paradise was a pretty fun idea. No, like, I'm sorry I wasn't Par- fast enough. Gangsta's Paradise... By Coolio. It, that not? was the song they used for the first trailer. <laughs> Sonic is supposed to be cool, okay. Yo. Okay, but no, it wasn't. Isaiah's over here losing his fucking mind. Because but you know what they did? Paradise. 
they wound up actually changing the the trailer song. Thankfully, they changed it to uh, the the Ramones and they changed it to Blitzkrieg Pop, which is actually a little bit more high speed. People liked it in Spider Man Homecoming, but it was really more high speed and really more Sonic style, the yes. correct style for Sonic. You know why? Because it was fast as balls. Ah. But in a straight lock. Yeah. Oh, but somewhere out there in the world of my rings, guys. Go. Guys. Let's creak pop. Juan, I hate to interrupt your no, you karaoke. Don't. Somewhere out there on the internet, you know there's a group of nerds who's already doing a parody of Gangster's Paradise they as better. Sonic characters. Oh, so <laughs> they better not. Bro, so this dead. movie for genuinely justifying the, the fact that we're going back to Dr. Eggman's original name. Robotnik. Dr. Robotnik. Because this time, A, way more robots, and B... Well, Jim Carrey doesn't really fit the part. No, I, I just don't see. I don't. I, I hope he doesn't. Go, I was afraid he was gonna go the fat suit route, like Thor. No, no. that wouldn't have worked with him. No, no that wouldn't have worked. Because with him. let's be honest, Eggman is not fat. Eggman is round. He's cartoonishly round. Like another even thing, in the, even in the Sonic Boom cartoon, he looked like an upside down egg more than anything else. Like another thing that people were worried about was, uh, is. Jim Carrey gonna have to carry this shit like you said Angel and now thankfully no he's not gonna need to carry it we got Sanic and yeah. we've got Sanic in the house we and got characters once- actually emoting and communicating hey, Angel guess what Sonic Shirts Volume 5 from Newgrounds. So it begins. <laughs> okay, so you thank you for reminding the internet that Newgrounds existed once. <laughs> I know, uh, right? You can run away from that all you want to, Aaron, but we both know that you began with the awesome series and you will end with the awesome series. Oh, God, please don't. Like, uh, once upon a time, oh, there was a We don't owe oh, Aaron anything, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> no, but he owes me something. We no, never we, I guess whatever. I'll Fucker owes me a hat. I I'll told him that I would buy it off him on a con one time and he didn't listen to me. I'll say to Oh, him. you're right. He was going to buy a hat out of you. And I'm like, hey, man, I'll take it. Ten bucks. And he just basically goes, nah, man. And walks off. And I'm like, well, fine. Dick. So is that why we're ragging on Eagle Raptor? Yes. Yeah, because, because ten years ago, he refused to sell me his hat. <laughs> that son of a bitch. All right. <laughs> but bringing it okay. back to I'm the trailer. I'm trying, I'm trying yeah. to actually focus up on this. Uh, <laughs> everyone's losing their heads over the fact that Jim Carrey is once again Jim Carrying. And I had to bring this up to Jose and to bring this up to, uh, to Angel. Uh, that basically, Jim Carrey can Jim Carrey all he wants. But the issue is he doesn't like Jim carrying a lot. Yeah, he, it's not. It's how he built his forte. It's how he built his strength as a commodity in terms of a comedy actor. But that's not all he is. He wanted to do more dramatic shit. He wanted to do more uh, like like serious acting and all. And he can and he has done that stuff. Do you remember the, the suspense film, The Number 23? Yeah, I remember yes. that. But you know what else I remember, though? Eh. Bruce Almighty. Yeah, Bruce Almighty. Yeah. He, like, the- he wasn't full on wacky Jim Carrey Ace Ventura, the Mask of the Riddler 90s Jim Carrey in that. He was uh, much more in between. It's like a regular ass dude with God powers, and he was Jim Carrey a little bit. All right, but here's the thing, Juancho, and I agree with you. Jim Carrey is more than just a one trick pony. It basically is what you're saying. However, to the casual audiences, well, to every audience all, all around the world, we uh, we associate with him with the over to the top acting because you know that's where he, we noticed him the most. I Ace Ventura, th- Batman Forever. He just uh, has that presence to him. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It just not to mock Gene Carey's dramatic acting abilities. The man is a bona fide actor. There is no denying that. And I can tell you because I saw Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. He can put off a relatively good, good dramatic performance. You're goddamn right, he can. The thing is, he's a multiple trick pony, but he's really, really good at that thing right there. Like, that thing he does right there, that is better than everything else he does. The other else is good, but this is pretty good. The, the point is, the, yeah, it kind of reminds me of like the, the creator of Sailor Moon. After Sailor Moon was done, she has actually done other manga, but none of them have caught up as much as Sailor Moon because it's Sailor Moon. So what you're saying is, and I think I agree with you with, with this, is that out of all the acting roles he's done, over-the-top comedy is his strongest suit. It's what works the best for him. By all means, feel free to branch out and spread out. Just don't forget... Don't feel sh- don't feel ashamed of what you did before, unless you worked in Freddy Finger, in which case be ashamed of everything you ever did in your life forever. <laughs> Kill yourself right now. Please. But I digress. The point is, don't be ashamed of what you did Please before if it that. put you on the map. You know I mean, shit, it just, it just happens to be the thing you're going You should be like Daniel Southworth. Embrace it. You know how Daniel Southworth is just Virgil? Yeah. And he Virgil so hard that when he became the Quantum Ranger, he's just Virgil again. He's just Virgil in it. He's just Virgil in Red just, Power. Just suit. accept it. Just take it in and make it part of you. Because that way, if you do something else, it will be seen as a pleasant surprise, not as a desperate attempt to break out from the thing that you're basically stuck into. I guess, and I, I am loath to quote the, the fucking that Suicide Squad movie, own that shit. It's yours. 
Take it. Yeah, and we're pretty. looking forward to seeing your work in, uh, in the movie, Jim. I know you won't let us down. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. So how long before Keanu Reeves makes an unexpected appearance on this one, too? Uh, I'm pretty sure that won't happen, but he is going to be making a Matrix 4. We'll get into that another time. Yes. Oh, um, by the way, a small little addendum. Keanu Reeves is showing up in the new SpongeBob movie because apparently he's just going to show up everywhere now. He has the cameo system. Yeah, why not? You know what? At this point... He's earned it. You know, he's reaching Bill Murray levels of <laughs> of exuberance. Bill Murray walked into the set of Space Jam, walked in, took a shot, left the movie, and he got a standing ovation for cameoing as fucking Jim uh, as fucking Bill Murray. That's it. Bill much. Murray can Bill Murray and still make lots of money on it, and it yeah, doesn't matter. Just he built Murray as Bill Murray in Zombie Land. Yeah, it was beautiful. He built Murray so hard he died. <laughs> Like, do you have any regrets? I don't know. Garfield, Maybe Garfield? Garfield? Uh, oh, God. Uh, and he even takes a minute to take in his last breath twice in the middle of his last <laughs> breath. Uh, uh, he was Deadpooling before Deadpool. I know, right? <laughs> take right, that, so yeah, I guess Reynolds. Ke- I guess Keanu Reeves had earned that level of irreverence, so that's perfectly fine. Of course, absolutely. All right, on to our next major story. And this is something that I literally just updated Angel on about an hour ago. Something that I woke Jose up at in the middle of the night. It was like 1 in the morning, Tuesday night, going into Wednesday, just this past week. And I literally shook Jose out of bed and showed him a video that rock sword my sock sores. <laughs> the man. The myth. The legend. Oh, my God. The ice cream bars. Just get the to it. <laughs> no, no. Build no. it up. We're cutting okay. a promo now. Okay. Oh, God. Five years ago, uh, f- uh, f- five years ago, five years ago, <laughs> wow, what? Posted on Fortune and uh, became a man. Yeah, that's one her name, story. The, apparently, no, that's that's what's her face, uh, Fortune Chan, whatever. No, uh, her five name year- was Fortune. F- five years ago, the world of professional wrestling was shaken to its core when WWE superstar CM Punk had famously walked out on the company, uh, uh, ended up being ter- uh, terminated on his wedding day from his contract. All because of health issues that he'd been fighting with. Uh, the fact that he didn't feel like he was being uh, 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 given a, a, a enough of a, you know a respect and responsibility in terms of working with the company. Specifically, getting to, uh, pl- uh, to perform in the main event of WrestleMania. And... The world had never been the same since. Professional wrestling had to march along. In the meantime, CM Punk had found fame in other avenues. He became a writer for Marvel Comics for a while. He has worked in in uh, UFC to uh, diminishing returns, regrettably. He had two UFC MMA fights. Guess how many he won, Angel? How many? Zero. Zero. Yeah, I remember that. He didn't it, do very well. It, it, it's, it's a damn Jesus. shame because you root for this guy. And... He had been made offers by everyone around the world to have him return to the ring. Last and then he Tuesday, went and wrote Thor comics for a while. Yeah, I said that. He wrote for Marvel Comics. He wrote Thor. He wrote like literally like a kegger contest like party story happening on Asgard. And he wrote it to be as wild as Lampoony and Shane, as, uh, as zany as can be. Right. Wonderful. He even acted in a horror movie that came out very recently here. Uh, he was the headlining uh, main actor in the girl in the third uh, the girl in the third floor. Hey. No, hey. it's it, it, the, it is a really has done many things. Yes, he outside has. of WWE. Well, I guess I'm glad to know that he brought side his portfolio. But as we discussed previously with the Sony the Hedgehog movie, there's nothing wrong with taking pride on your roots and going back to them. This past Tuesday night on the FS1 on the Fox Sports One uh, program show WWE Backstage, the show ended with CM Punk returning to WWE programming and it came out to resounding applause. Whoa. People had finally gotten what they asked for. However, there is a big fat asterisk at the end of that. I showed Angel and you, and he saw, he came back into the stage show. Everyone was cheering the one girl page. Kind of reminded uh, me of Captain America walking out of the dark during the beginning of Infinity War. Yeah. Short hair and everything. God. Punished punk. Punished punk. Right. A man, <laughs> a man deprived of his ice cream I like cream how bars. Paige was all like, oh, is this a rib? <laughs> yeah, no. Paige, who she is, uh, a, uh, she was a, a, a women's wrestler. She had to step out of competition. She's uh, she's one of the hosts of the show. She was uh, continuously saying, oh my God, is this a rib? Are you kidding me? Is this a rib? Am I might be. And he walks, and he walks out with fucking laser lights and smoke machine behind him. And she's like, oh my God, freaking yes. Dun, dun, People dun, were freaking dun, dun. out. 
and the internet could not shut up about it. There's he another it on Twitter, I think. Th- there's another uh, YouTube channel. We call these guys YouTube siblings because everyone's a YouTube sibling, and uh, even bastard siblings that we want to keep locked in the basement. Um, we are the one that but, nobody talks about during Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, but we show up anyways. We'll pick up what's left of the bird. Uh, they <sighs> call there is the channel known as Wrestle Talk TV. Oh, They've been yeah. around for a very long time, and for the last five years, a Wrestle Talk correspondent Ollie Davis had been making a meme and a joke out of any mention of CM Punk. Even if in the most benign and non wrestling related way as po- uh, way as possible, and he would make the joke of CM Punk to WWE return confirmed, uh, confirmed. CM Punk to AEW confirmed. CM, CM Punk return confirmed. Yeah. And now he could. And and when this show, uh, when this news came out, he came. You have to understand something, Angel, because like, this guy, these guys are based in the UK. This guy went running out in the <laughs> fucking Snow. English. No, in, in the English countryside in his neighborhood, like in this grassy uh, road, and he's running like a freaking banshee. Sam Punk return confirmed! Oh, with the freaking Ode to Joy <laughs> playing in the background. Oh, my God. Oh. It was awesome, but let me clarify, like... The, the actual facts behind uh, CM Punk's position right now in WWE Backstage. First of all, as Juan pointed out, WWE Backstage is produced by Fox, so therefore he's uh, CM Punk is employed by Fox, not the WWE. Exactly. It is, it's is—it's hysterical, and mm. a lot of people are pointing the, the fact that CM Punk is even brought in because, I shit you not, Angel, we we explained to you in, in private how... You know the Fox, the Fox, the the Fox TV network has WWE by the balls in yeah, terms of yeah, it's kind of, of a shit show, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Guess what the rating was for this program the week before? Okay, what was it before? before? Okay, so, it, it, FYI, the Nielsen rating system works on like a single digit being like like a one point five or whatever. That's one point five million. Okay. Right, so if you have like a viewership of like two point nine, that's like almost three million people are watching. Right, that's pretty good. Guess what the viewership rating was for this particular program, which is on at midnight on Fox Sports One, which means it's a cable program. Guess what the viewership was the week before? Three million. Significantly less. Oh wow! Four thousand, I think. No, no, forty nine thousand. Forty nine thousand. That is, wow. That sucked. Fuck Dick, Jesus, just to flake the dream right off the wheel. Which is why, <laughs> despite whatever the feelings the WWE might have about CM Punk, particularly Triple H, extremely and, bad feelings that is. Yeah, b- because these guys have spent the last five years burying CM Punk on their programming. Anytime people would chant his name uh, in the audience, they would literally you could hear them take the freaking microphone dial and just <laughs> dial it all the way down. Fuck. Yep. I, just like I did just now to my own microphone. It but went like, down. They dial that shit. You, when you hear them, bo- like you hear it, it's obvious because you've we've shown it to you one time. Remember? Yes. They, they, you'd hear them booing, but you hear the boos. Uh, oh, they so turn it down was. like crazy, and they try to pipe in uh, sound of cheering Man. and take its place, and Fucking, it's pathetic. It is pathetic. So if the they w- all dub the image, everything is the, the me. Fuck. Alex Jones was right. All the media was being manipulated. Uh, like, this We're is what turning all the wrestlers gay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the, all right. Yeah, but getting like, back. Go, go on. Like getting back to the point. The point is, with the ratings on this program so low and its very first week, Fox decided to to, uh, to uh, call an audible. They decided for a hail mary. CM Punk had actually auditioned for for a, a role as a correspondent on the show, but they just hadn't gotten back to him yet. And it's like, eh, Ridiculous. we're we're not sure. They decided, no, what? Fuck it. No, we need CM Punk. We need star power. Bring actually, Juan, can I make a correction here? Go ahead. The whole CM Punk showing up was actually a closely guarded secret. Only Renee Young knew about it. Right. She's she's like the main show host. I you, you I showed you her on the uh, yes. video. She's a pretty blonde, blonde lady in the middle, um, she, and she's the only one who actually knew amongst everyone there. And apparently, CM Punk's role is going to be that of an analyst and as a guest commentator, meaning he's not going to be on that program full time, meaning that his appearances are going to be few and far apart. But when they are, they fucking matter. And what he's going to say is going to fucking matter. Yes. So, uh, however, I do need to mention this right now that I did look up a recent video from, I hate saying this, WrestleMania, another YouTube channel. Another YouTube sibling over here. Why do you hate WrestleMania? You love their Behind the Titan Tron series. No, I don't. I hate it. They do. I like. I showed like, you the Montreal Screwjob hey, one, and Juan, it's perfect. Juan, Juan, I never said I liked them. I understood it, and I and it makes sense. 
but that doesn't mean I like them. I'm sorry. Their videos are ridiculous. Like they How? Every, like I, the way they produce it from beginning to end it seems rushed. You that's mean like because we do all the time? Just you mean the way that we have to produce shit all the time, Joseph? Like these guys, they pull this stuff up and they have to put the videos out right away because it's news. Yeah. Yes. All but right, yes. The, but we're uh, yes. But we're uh, we're learning from our uh, from our stuff and we're not rushing our production. Neither are they. They're picking up all their information. And so as far as that remark is concerned, Angel, you can close the book on that. So no. John, all I'm hearing is you're angry at things that remind you of yourself. You're looking uh, into the mirror. Joe, that's what that's what I'm and hearing. Angers you. That's what I'm hearing. Anyways, all right, we, so can, we can never meet these guys in real life. He's gonna kill them. They oh, referenced yeah. uh, something that uh, one of the wrestling journalists, uh, Brad Shepard, uh, Shepard mentioned. Uh-huh. Um, apparently, there is some talk from uh, backstage in WWE that uh, CM Punk's uh, appearance came off as flat. Uh, to flat. quote Brad Shepard, I spoke to a source in WWE about CM Punk's new role on backstage. I was told his appearance slash new role received a mild reaction at WWE headquarters and the source felt it was a flat return. They don't believe that's entirely his fault, but it felt dry seeing him on a recap show. There's still no deal with WWE at this time. He's all Fox Sports. The internal belief, though, is this is CM Punk's initial attempt at melting the ice before inevitably getting in the ring again. Now, we can take that with a grain of salt because this guy has got, uh, has gone on record a million times swearing off that he would ever go back in the ring. But then again, he showed up earlier this year at a smaller promotion huh. to help out his buddy Ace Steel in a match. And the only reason why anyone recognized him is because we, everyone recognized his build. He was under a mask. He put on a freaking like balaclava mask. He put on a hoodie and freaking shorts. But we could tell what his legs look like from his tattoos. <laughs> He's got tattoos everywhere. You can't hide everything except your inks, brother. <laughs> No, but like, like you could tell from his uh, his frame and his build and everything. So, but the problem is, the the point is, never say never. Maybe he'll show up in the ring someday. Maybe he won't. Maybe. In the meantime, he is working like any man should. And people are actually saying, oh, he's being a sellout. Oh, he sold out in his beliefs because we liked uh. it better when he when he was sticking it to the WWE. Well, you know what? To quote another character, I showed it. I, I told Jose about this. Uh, from the much maligned uh, uh, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Oh boy! The buddy who hel- who betrays Indy. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, what, what's his name? Mac. Yes. Mac, yeah. Played yeah. by um, Ray Winstone. Yeah. When he first turns the gun on Indiana Jones at Area Fifty One, it's like, why, Mac? What can I say, Jonesy? I'm a capitalist, <laughs> and they pay. Welcome. At the at at this point. Punk would be an idiot if he turned down money coming from a major sports network saying, hey, we want you to come down and talk pro wrestling. Well, as long as it's just talking, I got a certain schedule, X, Y, Z, here's my going rate. If that's what we're talking, then that's where we'll go. What if that's yeah. what he's doing? What if he, that, that's it? He doesn't come back to the ring. He's just a hype man. Like every time he shows up, the ratings go back up just because he's there. And yeah. the second he leaves the studio, the ratings go back down. <laughs> We like gotta a find stone a way in to the pond to the desk. Hype man slash analyst. Yes. Yeah, no, like let like let him. He, at this point, he doesn't owe the WWE anything. You do you, boo. Punk, for real. You can go ahead, you can make as much money as you need to. You're a grown man. You're working your uh, you're working your hustle, and that's fine. If you ever do decide to step into the ring, God bless you. Please do. We would love to see that. If you don't, you don't owe us anything. And especially not the WWE, so they can have whatever mild or flat reaction they want, and they could stick it up their ass because that's what they get for trying to stick it to a motherfucker on his wedding day. Yep. Free, uh, because like, he decided all, all to the timings like really because bro? he decided to take care of himself and try to actually heal himself because they wouldn't give him the time for what that what do you mean the pulsating horrible injury on your side that is basically spewing buckets of blood you and see, brain matter we showed you the p- photo of what looked like the, to be the lump of his staff infection you actually saw that. I spent the last like three hours before coming here watching pi- like videos of doctors poking those things open oh the Dr. Pimple Popper kind those of thing those are fucking disturbing they're disgusting Ugh. as fuck pull out fuck. a blackhead the size of my thumb out of a person's ear or some shit and we've shown you of course the famous Cole Cabana podcast where he's even saying yeah. that they're like that's a full blown staff infection you should be dead and they gave me uh, told me yeah just put a Z-Pack on that bitch you're good yeah okay Z-Pack's not gonna do anything God. so like at the end of the day um 
we are expecting nothing out of CM Punk other than what he's obligated to. And at this point, he has an obligation to Fox Sports. He's showing up as an analyst. He's showing up as a hype man, as a commentator. And that's actually one of his stronger points. He's got the gift of gab. He knows how to talk people into the building. His name carries weight. And that weight can move asses and put them in seats. But the problem Whether is... Whether you keep them there or no, that's a different story. But, but, the, but the problem is... All that is, is like Isaiah said, it's a recap show. And his contract is to Fox, not to the WWE. So if they want to talk a different uh, kind of turkey, then they're going to have to be the ones to approach him. Because it's obvious he won't. That's me right wow, now. Wow, really? That's me right now. You know what? Whatever. Uh, uh, Angel showing us a picture of uh, the Mandalorian. <laughs> Uh, the, you know the jealous girlfriend gif of you know this guy checking out his uh this other girl walking past the Mandalorian is a hot chick and the girlfriend is Ray. That's all I need. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, if you so say anyway, so. go ahead with that. You love so, the best car metal, huh? Long story. Sh- Hell yeah, give me that shiny lustrous uh, Mandalorian. Just wait steel. until wait until the rise of Skywalker. Oh, I'll wait. No, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> so, long right. story short, we got Mr. Punk back into the scene, but not quite into the ring. Yeah, and yeah. if if he decides to come in, that would be something that would be terrifying and awesome. And but the 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 thing that gets me is these people that are trying to fucking say that it's flat, that it's there's no reaction, that no one's talking about it. Even famed wrestling journalist Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, he's been at this shit since before any of us were born. By the way, Angel. Mm. Um, this guy was actually saying, like, I don't understand. Uh, he's been hyped for, like, he's been all over the internet for uh, the, the first five days, and I'm coming back Friday, and I don't, it's like it's quieted down. It's like it's a flash in the pan. It doesn't matter. I'm paraphrasing here, mind you, but, like, like Dave Meltzer basically saying that nobody cares about CM Punk returning anymore, and it hasn't even been a full week. Well, I say fuck that. There are folks who care. There are folks who uh, who give a shit. But there are also folks who understand realities. We're not going to hold our breaths anymore. CM Punk is back in our lives, and that's fine. But it, uh, but he's back on his own terms, and whether or not he decides to jump in the ring, that's a different story. Whether or not he shows up at a pay per view, that's his uh, that's his choice. Can you imagine See, if it actually did happen? If there was like an actual match happening, and he's like commentating on the desk or something, and at one point just goes, "Okay, that's it," rips off his shirt and just runs into the ring and drops kicks, drop kicks a motherfucker. You know, Angel breaks up. A good Can point. you imagine if that actually One, happened? Though that would be amazing. Punk po- uh, popping up in backstage was unexpected, so don't be surprised if something like that does happen in the future. The only way that would happen is if he decided to sign a deal w- directly with WWE, and that would mean that uh, that specifically Triple H, who's uh, who's now an executive for the company, and Vince McMahon, they have to eat five years worth of crow in order to say we concede that we need you. Well, if you remember what he said when he fucking left, he told Triple H, you I don't need to wrestle you. You need to wrestle me. I do not want to wrestle you. I don't care if I have to win at rest. If I get to win at WrestleMania, you need to be in a match with me to be important because I'm the hottest thing right now. Basically, was what he was saying. saying. So in order for him to appear on WWE programming at a pay-per-view at an event, they have to concede to that. And what's the one of the uh, worst things that, uh, that these uh, uh, kind of guys are filled with pride. I know that, but also understand based on recent events, CM Punk has proven that he knows how to work social media. He knows how to work uh, the fans of the internet. In this world where the online connection based most determines whatever, where everything goes and what goes those who it's in the land of the blind, the one eyed man is King. In the land of boomers, the one that controls social media is king. If you know Holy how to move crap. those numbers, they're well, going to love you. Strictly speaking, isn't, wouldn't CM Punk be a Gen Xer? He would be Generation X. He's eternal. But no, um, <laughs> but yeah, CM Punk returning to the ring would be ideal, but right now where he is, it's good. Besides, WWE has enough star power as it is to fill their content. Yeah, They've like a guy in a dog suit. Exactly. Ouch. Wait, yeah. isn't that a character from One Punch Man? No, this this His name is a... literally Watchdog Man. Uh, <laughs> thanks for bringing that up. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. Like, like literally, they they have the purse. They they have the purse strings to uh, to uh, money from Fox Network, and they put up a guy in a fucking dog suit as a rib against Roman Reigns because they call him the Big Dog. Oh, you're a big dog. Here's a big dog. Oh, look, he's wearing your shirt. That's you. It's silly. Ha- they no, buried, that's so fucking stupid. They buried that's one Roman of the reason, Reigns. That's one of the reasons why they need a guy like CM Punk. But that they gotta have to concede that they need him. They're going. They, I bet you right now that Vince McMahon is in his palatial estate in, in uh, Stanford, Connecticut, sitting with Triple H across from them, and they're wringing their hands and trying to come to a f- psychological understanding, like, okay, 
Our show sucks. We need a way to fix it, but we can't bring him back. So obviously we, we can't. But we, we have to. The people want him, but we can't. Why? Because the, I, then I would have to be wrong, and I can't be, be wrong. wrong. I have to. I have to always be it's right. Like that fucking Mega Mind. Okay, fine. I admit it. You were right. I was less right. right. Uh, <laughs> no, dude, they would do it. They this would is do Vince it. McMahon we're talking about. The man will go to any high and low to get what he wants. So if I were to show... Imagine that I could predict the future and tell him, Hey, Vince, these are the numbers if you bring him back. And the, and the condition would be that Vince McMahon comes out to do his speech and then CM Punk runs out of the crowd and kicks him so hard he flies 50 feet into a fucking coffin... He would do it. With a smile on his fucking face. You're no, not no, wrong. No, no, he would grimace. You're, but then he would smile inside the coffin. You're not wrong. <laughs> do you honestly think a man like Vince McMahon gives a shit about standards? No, he doesn't. That no. man is like fucking Diablo from JoJo. The results are the only thing that matters. Like, this is the guy who buried Paul Bearer in a concrete crypt yep. just to get ratings. Yep. Like, you like poured concrete into a glass box and buried him dead. So, you're probably right. Maybe that'll happen. But then again, let's not get our holds up. Let's, let's just yeah, be let's... grateful for what we have now. CM Punk return confirmed. I uh, will simply yeah. enjoy the fact that our boy is back. Yes, indeed. Our boy is back in town. We got another story we're going to discuss. Angel, I'm going to give you the lead on this because, oh, well, boy. quite frankly, we wanted this to be the very best like no one ever was. But, but then the again, shit bugs boy. out. So as we all know, uh, Pokemon! Yay! But more importantly, Pokemon Sword and Shield has just come out to admittedly relatively good reviews. And of course, a shit sort of complaints because the game apparently is... Not that different from the handhelds. In fact, it's less than the handhelds. Now, now, you all have heard the news. The roster has been cut. They have been removed many Pokemon that used to be there, and they are just simply not there before. But that's not the reason why I'm making this little bit, see? The roster getting cut, that's perfectly normal. Because right now, the number of Pokemon has reached the four fucking digits. So, let's be honest, that's borderline impossible. I'm talking about the myriad of other problems that have been pointed out by a streamer and several reviewers that have been working on it. So, let me go list them out one by one, because that's what I like to do. Angel's got a listicle here. And also, another shout-out to our friend uh, Lala Lori, who also had her own tirade in two cents to give about the Pokemon Sword and Shield bugs over here. Thank you, Lori, for having some common sense. We love you, Lori. You are such a sexy blue-haired Now, as you know, because the internet has no nuance, which is something that I will repeat until I die, everything has to be the best thing in the world or the worst thing in the world. As a result, the fandom will refuse to accept any criticism, no matter how legit it may be, and everybody who does so is buried under an avalanche Ruined of complaints. forever! How dare you hate Pokemon! And shilling. Because sometimes a game cannot just be good. It just has to be the worst of the best. Guys, you gotta relax. We all live in a Pokemon world, okay? Don't anymore, apparently. I w- and I want to be the greatest master of them all. Listen, after the those incidents master. with Pokemon Go, that is not going to happen. Also, hilariously, Pokemon Go for the Switch has more Pokemon than this game. <laughs> and Wait, it looks what? better, too. I'm not kidding. This game doesn't look that good. We were expecting... Okay, let's be honest. I wasn't going to ask for Breath of the Wild look here. No. But I was hoping for a Pokemon game that actually looked better than a handheld. This thing looks like a glorified handheld. Well, isn't this... No, it's not. The Switch is not a glorified so handheld. So let's begin. Well, is it... No, the Switch Lite is a glorified handheld, yes. I'll say that. But. The Switch Lite is a glorified handheld. But and apparently it's... Pokemon runs the same on both of them, so I should tell you something. Yeah. So, just like Pokemon caught, about 144 moves have been removed. 99 of them excluding the Let's Go and the earlier moves. This includes very important moves like Hidden Power, Restern, Pursuit, etc., etc. Several signature moves of certain Pokemon have also been removed. The game is extremely short. The first stream and beat the champion at the 14-hour mark. The average player can beat it in only 18 to 20 hours. That's Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know how many how many hours and days were spent in my youth when we had the original red and blue and yellow versions? It was it was a nightmare. That's on the original Game Boy. But why? I could show Developing you. Developing games is hard though. Hard though? I'll show you what hard though. Onyx hit him with a fucking iron tail. <laughs> Ow. Uh. That's hard though for your ass. It's not like we have. That is hard though, gay as fuck. <laughs> it's not like we have our hands on the most profitable fucking game franchise of all time or something. We you got Ryan one. Reynolds as an unpaid spokesman. You milk that bitch for all it's worth. They you milk, milk that milk tank. Hit it with a rollout. All Ludicrous right, all right, where you right, at? All right, all right, all right. Easy, the graphics easy. apparently has been deemed to be from okay to extremely mediocre, the- with continually looking worse and less polished than the LGPE textures. Inexcusable what? crappy frame rates. And uh, apparently the difference between this game and the other handhelds is unreal. Constant graphical issues. Not Wait, they're using quality the Unreal graphics. Engine? No. I don't know. No, you said Unreal. Yeah, no, it's like it looks unrealistically bad. Oh, that. Oh, ha. There are severe value bad issues. Unreal. There is low quality graphics popping nonstop. 
seriously bad coding. Trainer models will disappear mid-battle with an attack with a high number of particles is used. Oh my god. Uh, also, this happened. You know, the only time they did this was in Sun and Moon, and that's because it was a handheld, so they had the limitations there. So that means that they basically took the graphics from Sun and Moon, rest them up, and brought them over here. You know, there's no excuse for this stuff anymore, guys. We, I can, I have access to a 128 gig micro SD memory card. I'm pretty sure Nintendo with their proprietary untasteful cartridges can fit at <laughs> least 128 gigs worth of gameplay and storage and shit. Now, would- here's the beautiful part though. The guy expanded I'm scared. that. The guy explained. Okay, so Pop-in is used to not overload the console once the camera or player enters a certain area. The models are loaded, otherwise the game will be loading everything at all times. That's normal, right? Different games deal with this in many different ways. For example, The Witcher 3 makes everything that is not the main area of the camera to be blurry with no detail. And it gets more and less blurry as you get closer and closer. So the further away we look at Henry Cavill, the less obvious his wig is. Exactly. (laughs) Okay, just making sure. Nintendo 64 and PS1 games use the good old fog. Games like Silent Hill, for example, made everything about the fog to create the horror effect. Game they, Freak. No, they did that in the South Park N64 game, Angel. And it gonna, worked. No, it, it worked. It's terrifying because you're walking through South Park and there's a fucking haze around. But you walk past it and it does, and it, it just loads normally. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess it works even for back then. Yeah. What's these guys' motherfucking excuse? So, Game Freak, the company that develops the Pokemon games, basically Come decided on. not to do any of the above. And the dozens upon dozens of other techniques that gaming companies use to disguise that shit. So not only is the Switch powerful enough to not need to do this for a 30 FPS log game, not using any technique to make it look better is basically laziness on their part at this point. All right, real quick, uh, where what's the source for the details that you're getting us here? Where's this article? Yeah, where There's are this you? fellow on Reddit who basically had a streamer work through the whole game and basically he made an entire Q&A session out of the game. All right, uh, I, know you, mm, every I know you sent me the link. Find. I, I know you sent me the link. We're going to go ahead and put the link on that at the bottom of our YouTube page. So if yeah. you're listening to this on SoundCloud, iTunes, or Stitcher, then go ahead and visit our, our, our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Ravensflock. Check out this episode, and you will see the link in the description. So. Yeah, this dude basically pulled a QA and a on the game and did an entire round of game testing while watching a, a streamer play the whole thing from beginning to end so he could catch everything. Shit. Yep. Animations. One of the main reasons why uh, Game Freak caught Pokemon, at least in the interviews, are as shoddy as ever. There's an extremely lazy animation all over the game. Normal attacks to key movements, such as the encounter with the box legendaries. Most of the animations have been copy-pasted from older games. What? The main box art Pokemon cinematic has been also copy and pasted. Okay, you know what I'm imagining over here? That they took the model work... Uh, from Pokemon Go and or the Let's Go uh, games that came out. I imagine that if you're going to cheat, cheat with the models of the Pokemon there and the animations for it there because you already have the entire catalog of Pokemon yep. loaded in those. You And I'm pretty sure Niantic won't mind Game Freak grabbing that stuff. I mean, after all, Game Freak holds the license for the Pokemon franchise so they could grab it like, hey, you guys did good work. I'm going to have some of that. But uh, wait. There's no. more. No, I'm going to have some of that. It's mine. I got to see some of these in person myself. I looked up some clips online. Uh-huh. There's this amazing clip where, okay, you see the player running through a meadow, and you see Pokemon trainers juggling Pokeballs, right? They basically tossing cool. them in the air, striking poses. The second the player starts climbing a set of stairs, everything stops. The Pokeballs are in midair. The trees are stuck in the middle of the wind animation blowing <laughs> while you climb the stairs, and then it resumes after that. You the mean climbing to tell me stairs the action, is an animation that mean, costs everything else to load. To the entirety of the Pokemon world in all its splendor, depth, and glory must cease to a grinding halt and freeze in a single moment of time because you motherfucker need to go up a flight of stairs. But wait, there's more. Oh my god. As you know, every time you fight Pokemon in a meadow, you go to a meadow battlefield. Yeah. When you fight in the ocean, you go to the ocean battlefield. Yeah. Right. When you fight in the gym, you go to the gym battlefield. Yeah. A bug in the game makes it so no matter what you fight or where you fight, you go straight to the meadows. Always. You're fighting on that backyard full of grass forever. Okay, no, what? Oh, yeah. Even Let's if see. you're uh, like a magma gym. Yep. You're in Giovanni's office. Welcome back to the grasslands, motherfucker. You're Gary Oaks. Welcome to the rice co- fields, box. motherfucker. You're you're sifting through Gary Oaks' rice fucking drawer. Fields. You see his cock uh, his, uh, his cock sock. Rice fields. 
you're rummaging through all the letters that were sent back to him by his uh, uh, by his uh, grandfather. Mm. Said, "Return to sender." Hey Juan, right? you know what's because, my favorite movie? Because Sammy Oak doesn't like his grandson. Juan, you know what my favorite movie is? Okay. Field of Rice. Ha. <laughs> Welcome to the game. It's not a real movie. But now, gameplay programs, because, you Feel know, technical dreams. difficulties right. were in trouble, so enough. now we got for the gameplay issues. Oh, my God. Post-game is not existent. Since Masuda Mori started directing, there is no frontier, and there is no frontier-like facility. What? The post-game consists of the battle tower and a very short sequence of missions where you beat some Dynamax Pokemon for your rival to catch the other legendary. That's it. Okay. There is issues with the game's design and behavior. There is issues with progression. You cannot catch Pokemon in any area where you haven't earned a batch yet. And you can only do so within your current level. So if you what? Find, oh yeah! If you see Pokemon of higher level than yours, you can't. Good catch fucking them. luck. Nice try. Thanks for looking. Be sure to throw a, a fucking nickel in the tip hat. Meaning that what if you what the fuck? Meaning no, that I want a challenge. No, how you wish. There's no challenges here, buddy. If you, I want to poke at that Snorlax until it either smothers me or takes me on in a battle. No. Metapod, use hard nut that Snorlax. But no. Uh, no, seriously, if you find a level 31 shiny or level 31 Pokemon you really want, you won't be able to catch it until you beat the next gym. That means that you cannot see if your Pokemon is going to be shiny or not in the overworld. That means that on top of the batch limit, you also got a potential problem of not being able to see what the fuck you're fighting. Is they remove so a lot of past features with build sure no new additions. Seems like this what? is a mainstay in Pokemon. Removing older features so they become one no. of the time gimmicks. But like earlier titles, this game doesn't add any gaming except Dynamaxing, which is limited to only gyms. Oh yeah, your Pokemon becoming huge, you can only do that in oh, gym like battles. Oh, like the mega thing and the fucking giant Only in gym battles. And fucking what's-his-face. Gym battles only. What Jesus, the man. fuck, man? They remove the mega evolutions and the Z moves, which were a pretty huge deal in the previous one. No scaling whatsoever. The models are the same size, which means that they look like shit. Wait, so a fucking uh, like a fucking Charizard is gonna look the same size as a fucking Weedle? Yep. No. What the fuck? Uh, oh yeah. No, I need to tell K Storm about this. No. What? No. Also, because no. this is a full what? game from a full console, what? this game is sixty no. bucks. So that's a twenty dollar price increase for less content than an early 3DS game with shitty graphics, removal of features, and overall shorter release. Seriously, I play Son and Moo. It's way better than whatever the hell this is. Mete la mierda con eso. And wait, oh my God. there's more. Go to hell with that. Moving the game to a bigger console would mean better performance. No, the game is locked at 30 FPS. And while Guys, that's not necessarily no. a big issue, this is coupled Jesus. with slowdown at certain moments, such as Dynamaxing. Is so the, the Pokemon joke? getting huge, it experiences severe slowdown. Uh, it can drop so FPS you mean to the it floor. It lags the game as it's moving. I think you know how giant. I've seen man. videos of the game turning into a fucking slideshow. Like you know the you know how you see uh, Ant Man turn into Giant Man in the MCU movies. His movements are just a couple hairs slower because he has to move that much extra harder when he's giant. Because he's huge. You mean to tell me it's worse than that? Yeah, because at least when he was moving, you could see the fluidity of his gigantic movements. Oh. I'm talking fucking frame skipping. Like dude. We, we're talking. I'm about talking. Like, I'm jostling the, the SNES Tark cartridge in the machine no okay, no okay but wait there's more of course there's more we got game breaking bugs bitches we got now reports of the game freezing and crashing uh, overall look of quality job. polish and effort or a minor somewhat minor issue this is apparently many ways throughout the game itself ROM backgrounds or just voids for Pokemon battles this is insane woo oh my god no animation for flying no elite four no victory road so ultimately this franchise deserves better and you guys deserve better listen if you like the game and you want to buy it and get it by all means go ahead I hope you get a good good ride out of it but just but please keep into for. account that they're they're making you pay a lot more and they're trying to sell you a lot less the Pokemon fandom deserves a lot better than this but then again you're the fuckers that are still making the jokes about Pikachu being level 99 for the last 20 years so maybe this is exactly what you deserve no you know what this is exactly what the Pokemon fandom deserves why do you suddenly have paint if a uh, clown makeup on you and a revolver pointed at my? <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember, <laughs> that's Ash. <laughs> Point in case is, you know what? If this is the same fandom that won't stop making the same retarded jokes about the anime, maybe what this is what you deserve. The hell, man. A rehashed, defective product that basically sells you the same thing for more while taking away what you wanted and giving you a lot less. No, okay. I hope you have fun. Don't stab yourself with that sword too hard. Okay, no, here's. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Angel, I'm sorry. I, I can always Angel, count on you to unscrew the lid to the salt shaker and knock that shit salt. over. <laughs> okay, Pokemon, Pick salt and sulfur. 
Bro, you Salt are pepper. lit right now. Salt and pepper. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never gonna Point get in case it. is, guys, uh, I have played only one Pokemon game, in li- two Pokemon games in my life to completion. The first one was Pokemon Coliseum for the Nintendo 64. Which I've got. Which was great. No, we have Pokemon Stadium. Oh, Stadium, Stadium. Stadium, right. that's the one. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, no, I also played the GameCube one, Pokemon Coliseum. There we go. And then I played Sun and Moon to completion. I really enjoy Sun and Moon. And looking like, at this, this is far less than Sun and Moon. Like I understand calling the number of Pokemon. I understand that. That is the one thing, ironically enough, I can justify. But the fact that you caught away so, so much more... You didn't took a fucking corner. They took a fucking lime and then sanded down the corners. This is in a square. This is round. They sold me a Pokeball. <laughs> An empty one. <laughs> and the hinge is a Detective little Detective Pikachu loose. was a better Pokemon game than this. Oh, my Lord. And I mean that in every sense of the word. Okay, here's what's up. I may be a layman when it comes to, uh, like, the tech configurations for fucking the Switch. Uh, but if it, if it can handle Skyrim... What means what? What makes these fuckers think they that it can't handle uh, an updated uh, Pokemon game like Sunshine? Game Free just kind of sucks at designing games, I guess. No, no, this this makes no fucking sense. I don't know exactly what it is that these guys are are doing in order to cut. I wouldn't these say that they suck. More like they lack the desire to be better. In like okay, Japan and Nintendo in general have this very specific "if it ain't broke, it don't fix it" policy, which has admittedly worked pretty well for them. But now we've gone to the point of "if it ain't broken, just start taking shit away from it to see if it's still working." Ugh. This is this car is okay. perfectly working. I'm gonna remove the windshield wipers and a couple of hubcaps and scrape away some of the paint job. No, and you know what? You only need half a tank of gas. You're fine, right? No, I yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry. You're fine. Give me sixty bucks. No. Fuck you and your Do 60 it. bucks. No, you know what this is reminding me of? Okay, and this is a completely different game, and people are going to shit on me because I'm bringing up a game that people enjoyed but aren't don't really think it's all that popular. When the... This is going back 2003, so you, we I mentioned Matrix 4 earlier today, uh, but when they made the Enter the Matrix video game, there was a little mini documentary that came with uh, The Matrix Reloaded on how they programmed the game specifically where... They actually had uh, the engine reform the models mm-hmm. so that they take up less, uh, l- like less, less uh, surface areas in the geometry of the uh, of the models. Oh yeah, the this further all away the time. they are. Like so, no, not even before that, the no, Dynasty Warriors games where you fight and kill hundreds of dudes, mm-hmm. you can clearly notice that a bit farther away the, lo- the models begin to lose detail because they're just basically standing around waiting for you to fight them. Now. I know that this is probably old school, considering that we're that we're talking sixteen years later from that. But Game Freak, you mind fucking taking notes on this shit? Because <laughs> if they could do that on PS2 fucking graphics and PS2 systems, then what makes you think we can't do the same on the Nintendo Switch? The Nintendo Switch, from what I could tell, is a masterpiece of efficiency in form and function. They went back to using cartridges instead of discs because they realized that the discs have become obsolete really fast. And the car- and the and the sw- and the Switch cartridges if you really want to, you can cram maybe 128 gigs worth of space, maybe 256 gigs worth of space. And the only reason why I know this for a fact is because they have a spot where you can save all your gameplay and you can use a 256 fuck micro SD memory card. So who's to say they can't use that sort of space and that sort of setup in order for them to store the over thousand different uh, Pokemon uh, models, their animations, their movesets, set up a proper engine in there, set up proper interactions and everything, and have that stored in 128 gigs of space. Or not even, let's say for the sake of argument, um, uh, Angel, uh, what's the maximum space in a PS4 disc? Oh, Jesus Christ. Just the disc. Let's not talk about anything downloaded from that. Okay, hang on. You know what? I got internet. Let's look it yes, up, people. Please look this Stand up still. for yeah, science. Yeah, please look it up. Jose, I don't know if I don't know if all the fans who purchased the Pokemon Shield and Sword what is game the maximum is gonna, space. Oh, hang on. Is gonna is, is what is, is the maximum space on a PS4 disc? Yeah, I don't know if all the fans will agree because, as Angel pointed out, uh, there are some fans who actually like the game, so they're comfortable. You're with... fine to like the game, but you deserve better. You deserve better than like this. Shit. Like I, like... that's yeah. That's what's going to be my next question. How 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 Let's long see. do you think before uh, they uh, before that they the uh... PS4 is right, still using Blu-ray and the format hasn't changed? It can hold approximately 50 gigabytes, since that is the maximum amount of Blu-ray can hold in the disc. Dual layer is 50 gigabytes. 50. Okay. 50. 
50 gigs. All right. I, I'm sorry, Angel, interrupted you. Jose, go ahead and finish no, your No, point. no, he was fact-checking. So uh, with that being said, no, I agree. And I, and I already said that, you know, they need to do better than this. And they lack, in my personal opinion, based on what I'm hearing, based on what I've seen, and yes, I've seen videos, they lack the desire to do better. So how long until fans started crying out, you know, wanting a little bit more than what they were given? It's beginning On one right hand, now. yes. And on the, oh, by the way, the Switch cartridge only holds 32 gigabytes. So a little more Bullshit! than Bullshit! Yeah, just a little more than half of a Blu-ray disc. But ultimately, mm. see, here's the problem. I understand where you're coming from, but the, the, re the reason why it's happening is the same reason why it's not going to happen. Because for every person that has a legitimate complaint, there is five or six children buying the game right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have to remember. remember. As long as the main kids. fan base, or in this case, sometimes the whales, as long as the dedicated fans and the new fans and the people that this caters to keep buying it, they're going to keep making it. And they're going to keep scalping and scalping and scalping and scalping. <laughs> Guys. Until they can scalp no more. Angel, and that worries me. Unfortunately, Angel does make a good point. Games like this Pokemon game and Nintendo itself is more marketed towards a younger audience. Even okay. if it wasn't, at the end of the day, I like to think the children deserve some fucking quality. Okay, so what, what's, that too much to ask? what's stopping Nintendo from designing? I, I'm pretty sure it's not just the form factor on their what. So they intentionally b designed 32 gig uh, fucking cartridges. Dude, on purpose Nintendo's to restrict themselves for a country that is so money? technologically Are you fucking kidding not me? even money for something that is so technologically abandoned Nintendo is fucking terrified of improving anything notice how we went PS1 PS2 PS3 PS4 and every single console has been bigger and stronger than the last one right Nintendo went through like Three or four times that amount of consoles before they got to the Switch, and the Switch can barely hold out graphics. There's the wise. GameCube, the Wii, and then the Wii U. Nintendo. Oh yeah, Super and Nintendo. Nintendo. Sixty four. GameCube. GameCube Wii, Wii. Wii U. Switch. Switch. And that's not counting all the light versions they did. The point is, Nintendo. When it comes. Wii U. <laughs> the point is, when it, it comes to game that. console development, Nintendo seems to struggle in actually keeping up with the technology. Their stuff is outdated from the second they make it. Like, okay, I will not lie. Nintendo can make some beautiful looking games. If they, if they do the art style properly, they can make some extraordinary visually striking masterpieces. Put them on the PS4. They look a lot better by default. God damn. There is no escape. There is no escape. Anything Nintendo does graphics-wise, every other company can beat by a mile and a half. Oh, and man. I don't know why is this. Maybe they have like an uncultural thing that, that like prevents them from actually like, I don't know. If a developer makes a graphic that is too fancy, they need to commit seppuku or something. I don't know. Oh, but Nintendo, when it not. comes to graphics development and just game console development, they have been always at least one or two steps behind. Their company is good. Their products are good. Their titles are good. But when it comes to actually making the fucking console, they fumble every time after time after time. I mean, shit. Don't forget, they are the ones that added that, ter that disgusting, shitty gimmick to the Wii that resulted in the PlayStation trying to imitate that shitty gimmick. <laughs> you don't know how well that went. Also, hilariously enough, they released a game right now that actually turns the gimmick into something interesting. Ring Fit Adventure. What? You basically connect the controller, the Joy-Con, to like a circle of plastic, the ring fit, and you play what appears to be an adventure RPG where your moves during battles are you doing exercises with the ring. Haha. <laughs> Apparently it's pretty fun and it actually works for what it's supposed to be doing. But yeah, Nintendo has both either not made consoles that are fast enough to keep up with the demand and at the same time terribly updated no matter what they do. I mean, shit. Just take a look at the 3DS and its memory problems. It's insane. Uh, it, I, I I don't understand. Like, why do they concede to this to, to this form of of uh, uh, to this form of obsolescence? It it doesn't make any sense. Because it works. Because people keep buying it. Because as long as people keep shilling out the shekels, does it really Jesus matter? Angel? Does it, like, why should I improve when I know by default if I put the same shitty product outside day after day, people will come and will buy it. Going back to what Angel said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Also, it's hardcore Pokemon fans. As long as there's Pokemon and as long as it's playable for them, they're not going to care about anything else. They're going to glue their mouths to that dick and they're going to stop sucking until the wow. very last sperm come out. Like wow. no one ever sucked. But I digress. I'm being too harsh here. I, I like to think that for all the, all the problems, maybe the game itself works. Maybe it doesn't. All I know is that when I start getting reports of the game breaking Switch consoles, I'm going to have a good laugh about it if it happens. 
then again, I can't really <laughs> complain about it. See, but that worries me because this might set up a precedent. I'm because gonna... if this game is as successful as the others or more successful, then they are going to basically take that as an excuse of going, we don't have to put effort in anymore. Angel, we need to talk to one of our friends and lend, either lending us or let us play their copy of Pokemon Shield and Sword just so that we could get a hands-on approach. I know someone from work who's getting it. I'm going to go meet them sometime and I'm going to experience what they are going to experience. And I'm going to form a more solid opinion because I only seen parts of the, the game right now and I read this very comprehensive review. So now I'm going to go actually go see it again because I got to be honest with you, what I've seen, it doesn't look ugly per se. It doesn't look bad per se. It's just that's not really an excuse but for But I'm them just going to... here like, you guys could do way better than this. Like, you're Game Freak. You've been at this since 1995. You so could do you so, could do much, so much more. So it's not exactly bad, not even close to bad. It's just more meh. In the words of that guy from that movie, mediocre. Wait, it's, what fucking movie? You know, Mad Max. Oh, yeah, Jesus. You know, Road. Pokemon with women. Oh, asshole. What? You know? Lord Humongous wanted to catch them Dude, all. Dude, just because you're... And Mad Max was actually Team Rocket. Just because Bro, you're not now wrong I'm thinking, doesn't mean... Now I'm picturing Cubone rocking it up in uh, Mad Max Fury Road. I'm just Road. saying, Mad Max is basically Pokemon, you know? Like, the bad guy wanted to keep all the women to himself because they were his shiny collection. And Mad Max is the road trainer that just sort of stumbles onto this shit. And Furiosa is just Team Rocket. Oh, God. <laughs> God. The bullet farmer Damn. was basically farming for experience candy. Oh my god, I'm done with you. I'm done. When I ain't done with all of you. <laughs> so anyway, that's a, that's our report on the Pokemon. More news are to come. We'll see. The game has just come out, and it has the same score as Death Stranding, so I should tell you something. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but so long story short, we'll wait to see what happens. As of now, I am dubious whether this will be considered a good game or not. It is a functioning game. It is a competent game. It could have been a good game. It could have been better. But we want to hear from you. We want your opinions. Please give us your opinions. We ain't scared of what you got to say. Please tell us what you think about any of the stories we reported on today. Please tell us what you think about anything that we talked about here. Uh, also, Angel wanted to mention South Park being offensive again, but it's just South Park. Yeah, by the way, uh, South Park made a, movie about, made a joke about transgender athletes. Everybody lost their shit. The world kept spinning. Because no guess what, baby? shit. Guess what, baby? <laughs> That's South Park. If you don't like it, go watch like, something else. Like, they're, like, wow, they... that is such news to me, Angel. Are you telling me South Park has made humor based on extremely subversive and incredibly controversial content? Like you have Bullshit. To rem- you no have to way. Re- you have to remember this is the same show that 15 years ago made a joke with, with Cartman trying to get into the Special Olympics thinking that since he's able-bodied, if he pretends to be mentally challenged, that he could defeat everyone else in the, in the Special Olympics. <laughs> you know what? He fails to remember one special thing. They train. It's the Olympics. These kids, no matter how uh, the vet, uh, disabled, developmentally they are, disabled they may be. They have been training their asses off to get here. As a matter of fact, it's almost worse because if you have like any sort of like, dis- <laughs> like mental disability that makes you hyper-focus on just one thing, yeah. and if you're an athlete, what are you going to hyper-focus on? That Get strong one skill. <laughs> Guess getting what? strunk. <laughs> That's right. You motherfuckers were peeing disabled people. Do you know they have hidden power? Oh my and god! The power to focus. <laughs> so the power. I don't know what I'm laughing more reveal. about: the fact that people Meow. are complaining about the newest episode disabled of South Park. Disabled boy. Or oh tell me what is the Angel. secret of your power? Okay, look. If you two motherfuckers want to go karaoke, let me know. We could go at Charlie's, and I'll even buy you a beer as long as you guys don't sing on the show. Sounds good. I'll sing all I want. It's my show. I don't give a Disable damn. Disable boy. But anyway, Disable boy. This like, is no. This isn't no surprise. South Park likes to crack jokes for, based on current events, based on shit that's happening around the world. It's it's normal. Like, it's just another you, South Park. I kid day. you not. Last night I was rewatching a clip of Kanye West quote-unquote, not being Aquaman, to, uh, <laughs> going to the South Park's elementary school to defend the claim that Kim Kardashian was a hobbit. And she's like, oh, this, she's not a hobbit. She just happens to be shorter than most people. And she ha- lives in a luxurious mansion with a room that's slightly beneath ground. And she happens to have a friend named Gandalf who just so happens to be a wizard that does not make her a hobbit. Actually, one second. That's what the- Bitch, you ain't no hobbit, are you? <laughs> Wait, See? No? Oh, no? Okay. All right, all right, all right, 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 right. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, love you, bye. Okay. All right, so she, my wife ain't no hobbit. Okay, as like, much as I know that it's a South Park thing, it's not outside the realm of possibility because these days Kanye West is a little bit on the... Kanye these West, days? Kanye West is both a famous, rich, and a person of color. 
That is a recipe for somebody to go crazy at some point or another. <laughs> I know, oh, right? God damn it. That's not even the point. Like, he's got brain issues of his own. He's like, like he's been at this shit for forever now. No one like, man not... should have all that power, said 50 Cent, who is no Kanye West. And I just confused him with. Oops. Actually, that is actually that was Kanye West. Son of a bitch. I am bad at recognizing Angel, rappers. Angel, the song was in the Power Rangers 2017 movie, remember? I know. That's Kanye. Sorry, but it's just, I forgot about that movie because Power Rangers Battle for the Grid is a fantastic fighting game that everybody should play. <laughs> they got Daniel Salvo there now. I wish we got some I fucking need more to... quantum power. Who published that game? I don't know. Hasbro, I think. Hasbro? I don't okay. know, but Whoever. I'm going to find it. And guess, you know what? I'm going to get my hands on that game and we should all play Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Why hey, not? You know what? And if you... And if, they like, got Donkey Kruger. And if hey. the game studio that 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 made, made this, if you guys would be so kind to listen in, we'll play this for free or something. I don't care. Just, just we'll advertise your shit. We'll advertise you. Please now. help us out. Now, Back to now, the now. Is, let's not become beggars. Guys, the point is, South Park has made fun of everybody. They made fun of me, you, them, they, it, her, sir, whatever the hell kind of, whatever letter of the alphabet you wish to identify yourself by, more power to you. South Park made fun of you. Please don't get angry. They do it to everybody else. If anything... Is this not the equality you always desired? Actually, of you know course. what? You know what? No, I'm going to take that back. I can guarantee you, almost 100%, that the people getting angry about this are neither transgender, nor athletes, nor any combination of the two. It's some bitch-ass journalist somewhere sipping on an entire bucket of soy latte with a man bun stride up so tightly I can feel the fucking neurons leaking through his non-existent shrink and ball sack complaining about something for the desperate need of clicks and likes. I hope they're worth it. Oh, so you mean a so- social justice warrior? Nah, not even. I, not I, even. I hesitate to call those people warriors. No, they, they would call <laughs> that too aggressive. It'd be some cases, asshole who There is some he's a dumb fucking... shit online who basically fail his thesis at journalism and was sent to the online school of like fucking journalism reporting, and he decides either I talk about how video games are misogynist or I talk about how South Park is controversial. Jeez, Boy, I wonder man. what will give me more likes on Twitter. There we go. Oh, Jeez. my God. That's no, a friend of mine, she shared this goddamn thing, and let me look at what Just the article actually says. Just read the title. Just read the title. Hang That's on, I'm need. actually trying to find it. All right, all right, right. Let's let him. Did she let take him it off? For it. No, she didn't take it off. I just need to find it. Three hours ago. When is this? No, I'm, because there's this these freaking are the real hysterical hipsters, picture. Joe. Hang on. Where is this fucking? Yeah. Thing? Turns no. out hipsterdom is not. I, I realize it now after all these years. Hipster doesn't mean I liked it before it was cool. It's it offends me before it offends them. Here it is. Okay. I'm pretty sure you'll you can agree to this, Angel. South Park makes anti-trans joke and it's not okay. Immediately <laughs> believe it. A picture of emo Peter Parker for Spider-Man 3. Gonna cry? Gonna cry? Uh... Tommy McGuire as emo Parker bitching at you if you were gonna... <laughs> you know what? At this point, I've be, I been told so many things are not okay. I am actively doing them just to spite the people who tell me so. Uh, so when uh, I commit all those murders, that's please on don't you. commit murders, Angel. When all, when all those people start going missing, social media, that's on you for telling me it wasn't okay. okay. No, 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 no. How dare Angel's you try to psychoanalyze off. me? I'm I don't have a psychology yeah, to done. analyze because my brain doesn't exist. You're done. You're done. Okay. No, I'm not. We got to put Angel back in the can over fine, here. Fine, fine. I'll go back and deliver more, more packages on UPS. Look, if you want to murder a bunch of like idiots, make sure that we're not actually ad- advocating murder. I go on. The Ravens vlog does not advocate murder. I do. God damn it! Okay, but don't murder animals, man. We need the animals. No, 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 no. See, killing an animal is simply a part of life. Because if I kill an animal, it's because I'm going to eat it. I will never visit harm upon an animal unless I was going to get something out of it. That's called the circle of life. You gotta eat so you can become part of nature. But that's what we have butchers for. They kill it for us professionally. That's because butchers are part of the circle of life. They are the predators. They are the lionesses of the circle of life. They bring us the products that we obtain to feed ourselves. <laughs> Oh, Lordy Almighty. Ha! <laughs> of course. And oh, yeah, and remember, oh, yeah, there was that amazing post tweet that I said, Keanu Reeves going, be kind to animals or I'll kill you. Thank but, you. Wow. Yes. The point is, okay. the Raven's Rock does not advocate the murder. No, we, we advocate don't. killing animals only for your sustenance. Murder is but a cruel trick played on nature for those who believe that morality actually works in our minds. Oh, my God. It was somewhere out of the than the desert when the drugs began to kick in. Angel's done. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> Angel's fucking you're done. done. All right, All right. Juan. Any I other last we're... words, Jose, please? Uh, Anything? No, no last words. I'm uh, Just remember that I'm also part of the podcast. It's not just you two talking. <laughs> All right, cut that out, Joe. You're the one talking about passive aggression? Yeah, you could take that. I don't care. You could take that line and shove Good it. Good news, everyone. Disney oh, Plus is still a thing. Hang and on. Robbie Downey Jr. Hang on. Let me, see the, uh, let me see the source. 
Oh, it's inside the magic.net. Okay, that's a Indeed. good source. So, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, for those of you with streaming, as we know, we are experiencing a bit of a shenanigans with Netflix and all the other streaming services. Disney as, Plus is a thing. As predicted, Disney Plus is pretty much leading the charge with all the good product they are showing, especially with the more recent shows of The Mandalorian and such. It's been confirmed that Robert Downey Jr. will return to voice Iron Man in a new Disney Plus series. So there's something to look forward to. To voice Iron Man. So this is going to be animated. So here's the thing, though. He ain't going to show up. He's going to go paying, in the studio in his sweatpants. I'm paying like 12 bucks for my Netflix right now because I have two screens. What if I just cut that in half to one screen and I also get Disney Plus? Sure, go sure. for it. What do you guys think of it? Should I do it? Uh, I whatever mind. you want. I, I think you'd be fine. With that. How much is Disney Plus? Let's find out. You could do what you could do whatever you like. I mean, if you want to have Disney Plus, that's fine because, well, unlike the, unlike Netflix, Disney Plus doesn't have anime, and you still need your animes. Of course. Well, to be fair, I could just watch anime anywhere else online. Yeah, but so, do you really want to uh, infect your computer with viruses? Huh, six ninety nine a month. I That's think actually, Joseph, we, Joseph, we've been infecting our computers with uh, with viruses in what? the name of anime okay, okay. since the days of LiveWire. No, no, no. Guys, guys, guys. Technology has marched on. Let us not spray heresy. Let's make this very, very clear. Gradual. You do not get viruses for watching shit online. You get viruses from downloading shit online. So all that <laughs> disgusting, filthy porn that I know you're watching right now, scratching your balls while listening to us as background noise... Good on you, man. Props. <laughs> so use the Incordito tabs. Also, don't go to Bing. It's fucking Cheese Pizza Central. Seriously. Gross. Terrifying place. Gross. Long story short, remember, websites have actually higher security than your bank account. <laughs> Seriously. How? I don't know. But point in case is, we don't download things anymore, my man. I we just, just go to Crunchyroll or go go anime or whatever the hell we go and just stream that shit because technology is a wonderful thing. As he's feeling as anxious go, to say things, has Angel. Maybe no, you want no, to let no, it no, 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 no. taps. <laughs> You're, you guys are fine. Juan, close it up. We can't stop here. This is stream country. No, we have to end here. We're done for now. Damn it. Fine. All right. Thank you very much, Angel and Jose, for joining in. Thanks for that last minute passive aggression, Jose. Thanks for the horrible death threats, Angel. What death threats? Exactly. And thank you for listening in to this episode of, our, of The Black Files. Please give us comments. Give us feedback. Tell us what you fucking think. Don't beg, Juan. No, I'm going to fucking beg. I don't give a damn. You think there's such, such a thing as shame? See? There's no shame in telling people to tell us what they think. As long as you fucking put it in the comments, send it to us on our uh, social media. We want to give get your feedback from you about our programming. God knows. It feels like we're shouting into the ether here. If only one voice were to hear what we had to say, then, then I would have no complaints. Exactly. So, of course, please download and listen to this podcast on iCloud, Sound, uh, uh, I, bleh, iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. And watch this podcast on our, uh, ch- on our main channel. Until then, continue to follow us on facebook.com slash the ravens flock twitter.com slash ravens flock 13 instagram.com slash the ravens flock online home of the wednesday night war and of course give us a subscribe hit the notification bell get all your notifications with us give us thumbs up comment share rate review on youtube.com slash the ravens flock home of los amigos play the black files and the ravens flock Thank you very much for listening into the Uncensored Interview and Review Podcast with the Ravens Flock. This has been the Black Files, and we are out. Woo!